Hi DH, I wanted to make this video special just for you as thanks for subscribing to my Patreon. So you asked me a question about transitioning between finger spins and isolations or anti-spins. And the truth is that each of these moves is made up of finger spins. A finger spin only creates a 180 degree movement, right? So in order to get a full rotation for say an isolation or an anti-spin, we need to perform two finger spins. So uh, a good progression in order to build up to that, I would recommend getting comfortable with performing continuous finger spins. And this means that as soon as you perform one and then your middle finger connects with the prop, that's when you begin again. And it should get to a point where it feels natural enough that you can kind of take your mind off of it. You know, you can close your eyes or uh, not really pay attention to what you're doing. In order to transition from a finger spin to an isolation, what you want to do is as soon as your middle finger makes contact with that prop, that's when you're going to begin moving your hand into that isolation. So that looks like this. So my hand stays steady and then as soon as my middle finger makes a connection with that, I'm going to trace out the isolation in three, two, one. And then with anti-spin, it is a matter of the same thing, except this time your hand traces that circle um, backwards. I believe I mentioned this in a previous tutorial, but uh, an anti-spin traces the same circle as an isolation does. The only difference is the direction that your hand is moving. So, when it comes to transitioning, say, between an isolation and an anti-spin, the same principle counts, which is where you want to make that transition between an isolation and then that anti-spin, that all begins with that point where your hand, your middle finger makes a connection with the prop as it performs that finger spin. So. That looks like this from my forward perspective. This is one half isolation, anti-spin, isolation, anti-spin. And then let's say making a transition between a finger spin to an isolation or a finger spin to an anti-spin. Again, it all begins when your middle finger makes contact with the prop. Um, however, uh, like the difference really just lies in the direction that you move your hand in. So moving forward, um, I think a really good principle to follow is when planning transitions or trying to make new connections and transitions between movements, try to think of, uh, I think, try to think in terms of 180 degree movements or 360 degree movements. So a 180 degree movement is a single finger spin. And as soon as you make contact, you can switch to a different hand movement. So a static spin is when your hand stays stationary. An isolation is when you trace a circle forward. And then an anti-spin is when you trace that circle backwards.